Hi there, welcome back again in New CNC channel. I'm very happy to share about networking tutorial, especially using Microtik routers. Okay, this time I want to show how to create bridge connection. In here, I have IP address 192.168.2. I'm sorry, 0.20.0 slash 24 with subnet mask in here i want to bridge using ethernet 2 and 3 so ethernet 2 and 3 will have the same segment for ip address if i connect using cable to ethernet 2 will give me address 192.168.20.0 20.0 network same with or same well I connect in Ethernet 3 also how to do that let's open winbox and then login using make address first for create bridge connection you must create bridge interface first create bridge interface in here and then you can add bridge with post sign here call for name for example i want to using bridge lan2 for l2 and lan3 for l3 here Okay, I click apply here. Now, after create bridge interface, you must set the master ports and sleeve. Choose ports tab here and then click the sign and choose for master in editor 2 and for bridge, select bridge L2 and L3 here and click apply. And then you must click I'm sorry because we just create a bridge connection usually will disconnect in Microtik automatically continue again click plus sign and then now add editor 3 and then click apply you can you can see there Ether3 is disabled port because I connect with cable in Ether2. The marks with uh, italic font in here, but if we connect in Ether2, the font is normal, no italic like this. Okay, the next step is create IP address. You can choose IP and select address in here. Then click plus sign in here. Same with this image. We must fill with 192.168.10.0 in network with subnet mask 24. Okay, 192.120.10.0. This, for example, the network is 0 until 255 so for this address I will give one in here and you can add CEDR like this uh, this disconnect again sorry okay I have problem with my LAN cable so let's reconnect again. Okay, just one. Let's continue. Okay, click put sign in here and fill 192.168.20.1 for address and using 
CIDR24. In, don't forget to select bridge LAN2 and LAN3 here. Click apply. Okay. You can see here. Now, we have IP address 20.1 using C CIDR24 if we connect in LAN2 and LAN3. For showing you this is a reels, let's create the HTTP server and then click the HTTP tab here. You can create setup with the HTTP setup in button. Forget, I'm sorry, select bridge LAN 2 and LAN 3, click next. Just click next, next, and a draft to give out because we have in bridge connection using 20.1 this is my uh, continuous ip address is 2 until 24 i'm sorry 2054 click next and then next apply usually we will disconnect it from microtech if we have new addresses okay Let's uh, let's using our connect internet or LAN to Ether2. This is the interface. Okay, I'm connect in here using Ether2, and then let's try to get IP address in here. Okay, you can see there my IP address is automatically, but we not or we not yet get the IP address because we need to disable or restart the Ethernet. Let's enable it again. Okay, I'm using Ether2 in Microtik. Let's connect. Okay, in Ether2 that's running here. Okay, let's see what IP address or how IP address we get is 20.254. Okay, now the question is if we disconnect in Ether2 and now plug in Ether3. What the IP address is still the same segment. Let's do that. I will disconnect my microtic and I want to turn on or plug in my cable to Ether3. Okay. Now I will cancel and refresh connect again and then you can see there i'm running now in ether3 and to evidence let's disable this and then enable again and let see if ip address is still in same segment Okay, you can see there. While I'm using IP address in Ether2 and Ether3, I'm still have the same segment using bridge connection method. That's all tutorial how to create bridge connection using Microtik. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope my video for you is useful. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.